I attended St. Mary's College of California up in the Bay Area and I double major in liberal studies and Spanish with a minor in psychology. I uh, attended Victor Valley Community College uh, after high school and then I transferred to Cal State San Bernardino to get my bachelor's degree in sociology and then from there I went to Azusa Pacific University to get my master's degree in education. I went to Cal State Fullerton as a music major and I actually didn't finish that degree but I, I did finish my degree at Cal State San Bernardino in mathematics. Cal State University Long Beach is where I attended school. Um, my major was liberal studies um, and Africana studies, concentration in education. For my undergraduate degree, I attended Point Loma Nazarene University, and I was a music education and vocal performance major. I knew that college and my education was the key to breaking the cycle of being impoverished. Um, I come from a poor family, and I just knew at an early age education was the way to break the cycle. I had grown up hearing my dad say, you need to go to college, but then he backed out and kind of left us. And so my mom really picked up the slack there. And uh, I saw how hard she worked. She had two jobs um, in order to provide for us. And um, we really, really struggled financially. So I just, I think her drive and her determination to help us be successful really inspired me. That no one in my family had ever attended college. I was first generation college bound student and my mom wished she could have gone to school but they didn't have the money and so she only went up to sixth grade and so that her hard work and my dad's hard work is what pushed me to make sure I got a college degree. So I, I worked at night while I went to school during the day and so I mean that that was my life was work and school just so I could afford it and of course family I had family that supported me as well so that was good. Mostly with grants and um, like university scholarships and grants and things like that. Um, my final year in, in my bachelor's degree, I, I took out some loans just because um, my job was kind of wonky that year and so I needed some way to pay the, pay the bills. Um, and then when I worked on my credentialing, it was mostly loans, um, not so many grants and things like that after you graduate from college. Scholarships, um, but the biggest, probably the biggest contribution was through Cal Grant and Pell Grant. Um, because my family was so poor, um, we really qualified for a lot of aid from the government. And unfortunately, because of my mom's financial status, um, she wasn't able to take out any loans. So I had to take out student loans to finance the rest of that, which I'm still paying for now. Um, but honestly, I, I wouldn't go back and do it any other way. Um, I felt like I really needed to get out of my small town and not stay and go to a junior college because I knew that it would, for me personally, I needed to just like jump in and go straight in and be, be that new person. So showed me how education kind of evolves as we get older and how once we get to a point in our life to where it's not just okay you know what I'm going to class because I'm trying to get to college I'm in college now so that whole idea of I'm learning life lessons along with adult level education was really the plus for me. Um, being able to talk with like-minded people about the subject that I was interested in um, a lot of my classes were small, um, you know, 10, 15 kids in there at a time, so we were able to really have good discussions about what we were learning about. I was really afraid to be by myself. I had never been really alone growing up. Uh, as poor as we were, like, I was always the one to take care of my sisters when my mom had to go to work. And so I was never really alone. I was always with my sisters and always with my family. So going to college, I was first really afraid about being on my own. But now that I look back, I really enjoyed that time of like finding who I was aside from my family, um, learning about my talent, learning about my gifts, how to use them, and kind of just feeling my calling in the future. So like when I go back there to San Diego, we, we get off the 8 freeway and it just feels like, oh, this is like where I grew up. It makes me 
uh, just reminisce about becoming an adult. I literally became an adult on my own, and I, I had never done that before. I had always been with my family. It, it was awesome. I mean, it's like high school graduation, but a hundred times better. Uh, you know, high school graduation was fun, but when you look when you look at everything, you realize that almost everybody graduates from high school, right? And so that's special. But when you graduate from college, um, you're you know one of the few people in the world that have a college education. You kind of feel proud of yourself. I think the last time I looked, uh, there was a statistic that said about one in three Americans have a bachelor's degree or higher. So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, wow, I'm in like that group of 33% of Americans that have a college degree. So, you know, it makes you feel proud that you worked hard. So it was cool. Gosh, it was such a nice feeling to walk across that stage to, so everyone could see that I did it, you know. A first um, generation female minority student, English learner, um, had graduated college in four years, and then I was heading on to grad school. So it was such a just a, a big reward. I worked hard for my degree, and when I walked across the, the stage, it felt like I won the lottery. I do. Um, I had sung with the choir for several years, for every year before that, and so I had watched many graduations. So when it was my turn, it was. Um, I think it was really scary because there were so many people, but it was really exciting to do that and show my family, especially my sisters, that um, that I could do it and that they could do it. And I'm going to cry because I was I was the first one in my family to go to college. Um, I grew up in a, like I said I grew up in a super poor family, and um, you know, my dad came from Mexico. My dad's family's from Mexico, and he had a green card and wasn't a citizen. Um, and so I saw that kind of struggle from my family. And then I grew up knowing like you have to go to college so that you can help yourself not be what we have. My family wanted more for me. So, um, you know, you can talk a big talk, but when you actually do the work, um, that's what it felt like. Like I'm, I'm showing my sisters like you can do this. You can be more <laughs> than what your family um, has done. And I think that's my message to our students. You know, we have so many poor students and um, underprivileged students in our in our school, in our Scorpion family. And you don't need to be held down by what your family has done or not done. Um, I'm proud of our Scorpion family because we really push our kids, our students, to think big, to dream big, and. And that's what I got to feel that, that day, was just walking and knowing that I did something. My family didn't do it for me. I worked my butt off, and I was showing my little sisters like they could be more and they could dream more. And that's pretty much the coolest thing that you'll ever, ever feel. In high school, I wanted to be a musician, like a performing musician. But then I went on a mission for my church, and I really liked teaching. So when I came back from that, I, I knew I wanted to be a teacher, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to be a teacher in. So I started out with music because that's the thing that I did in high school. And um, so I did that for a little while and it just wasn't feeling right. So um, I kind of changed my major to just a liberal studies major. And I was, I was uh, tutoring math at the college, at the Victor Valley College. and. Um, I really, really liked it. So I want to put that out there that it's okay to you know change your major when you go to college, and, and that happened to me when I went to VVC. Um, I wanted to get into a profession. I knew that that I wanted to help people in some way, and so what I was going towards at that time was great, and I, I loved it. It just didn't work out at that time, and um, so then I got a job working at a, at a residential facility for juvenile delinquents and I was helping them out kind of counseling and I started liking that and I thought hey you know this is something that I wanted to do and so my wife Miss Campbell kind of uh, kind of geared me towards working in education and I started getting into that and, and I, I loved it as soon as I started taking classes in counseling and sociology that was my aha moment you know. Ooh that would be spring semester of 1995. Um, I originally went to school to be a computer engineer love computers that came easy to me the interesting thing was 
do I want to do 40 hours a week in front of a computer or would I rather do 40 hours a week in front of smiling faces and be challenged that way because I learn, I love learning and that's an awesome thing to me. So I decided, you know what, I think I make the greatest difference and impact my future by impressing upon young folks today. So that's why I decided to teach. I think it's my divine calling. To not give up and try, just try. It doesn't matter how hard it gets. Uh, keep trying and just don't give up. Um, it's important. What you do now sets a precedence for what you'll do in the future. Focus on, don't focus on what everybody else thinks about you and what everybody else is doing. You need to do what's important for you in terms of what your classes are, what your major is. Don't do what your parents want you to do. Don't do what your friends want you to do. Just do what you want to do and do it well to keep working hard, that it's going to pay off in the end, that hard work always pays off, and that you're on the right path. Right to make mistakes. Um, we learn from our mistakes, and sometimes we have to take a step back and like change our journey a little bit and change our path, and that doesn't mean that your journey is over. It just means you've taken a new route. So no matter what, go for it. Don't give up, ever. 